guys, it's me, Annette. I am uh, going to show you a super easy recipe uh, to make non-dairy ranch dressing. I recently stopped eating dairy, and I was so excited about this recipe. I'm going to be honest with you, I've never made it yet, so this is my first time doing this with you. Um, so all you need is just a couple simple ingredients. Um, this is milk. A uh, couple simple ingredients. Uh, so what we're going to be using is half a cup of mayo and the mayo I'm going to be using is the one that I made uh, last week. You can find the recipe uh, down below or on my blog. I'll actually put it in the comments. Uh, if you like, go ahead and uh, like this post, share it. Uh, the more uh, shares and likes I get, the more videos like this I will do. Uh, so I'm going to start out with half a cup of mayo and I'm going to mix that with coconut milk and then dried parsley, dried dill, dried garlic powder, dried onion powder, dried chives, sea salt, and pepper. So let's get started and see what we come up with. <laughs> uh, first thing that it says to do is mix half a cup of uh, mayo. Uh, and if you don't wanna make your own, you can buy um, the Whole30 compliant. Um, I'm on Whole30 program, that's what I'm doing, and that's what it is, no dairy, no, uh, carbs, no heavy carbs, just fruit, vegetables, and protein, and nuts. So this is really, really easy. Uh, so we're gonna do half a cup of um, coconut milk. This is the coconut milk I got at Trader Joe's. Um, it's really, really, really good. My kids love coconut milk too. So half a cup, I'm putting that, you know what, I should actually put that down so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do half a cup of coconut milk right here okay then i'm gonna do half a cup of mayo so again i'm using the mayo that i made uh so half a cup i'm gonna try to measure that in through here and it says to use a whisk or you might have to use a blender so i got both ready uh here so half a cup of mayo and this mayo is almost empty we made it last week and i make enough to last us about a week um, they say the mayo expiration date goes as far as uh, the egg expiration date that you're using. Okay, so half a cup of mayo. I'm going to put that right in here. And then whisk it together. So I'm going to whisk it. If that doesn't work, I will use the blender. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, it's actually whisking just fine. Oh, yeah. This is perfect so do that uh, and then it says you can see it's kind of watery but it says when it stands in the fridge it thickens up but this is what I do and then what we want to do is one teaspoon of dried, dried parsley so here's my teaspoon I got dried parsley flakes so do half a teaspoon and I'm gonna write this in a blog tonight so you guys can see it um, half teaspoon of parsley half teaspoon of dried dill. I am actually don't have dill, I forgot to buy it, so I'm gonna use uh, our Vitality Oil from Young Living that you can use for cooking. So I'm gonna use um, one drop of our dill oil. Oh, two drops fell in. Oh, it smells so good. And then I'm gonna use garlic powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So right here, I also get this at Costco. I get most of my things at Costco. <laughs> so half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, then you're gonna do half a teaspoon of dried onion. So I got this at my local store uh, by Clearly Organic Onion Powder. Okay, so, oh, and this one I didn't even open yet because I just got it um, last night for this recipe. Okay, so we're gonna do half a teaspoon of uh, onion powder. I'm just using a regular teaspoon because I couldn't find my measuring teaspoon. So half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of dried chives. So I got these. Half a teaspoon of that. I would prefer to use uh, fresh, but I'm not sure if you can. Uh, if you guys ever made this, let me know. And then half a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm using Himalayan salt. I get mine at Costco too. Uh, but I just put in a little shaker like this so it's easier. So half a teaspoon of salt and then half one quarter teaspoon of ground pe pepper. Oh, where's 
my pepper? Um, somewhere. <laughs> I have the pepper, but I don't know where I put it. So I'll put it, I'll add it later. And then mix it all together, and it smells really, really good. It does smell really, really good. You can really smell the onion pepper, the dill, the garlic. Um, and it says to keep in the fridge for at least a day so all the flavors kind of go together. Let's give it a try. Uh, it seems... <laughs> My phone died. I mean, not died, so. uh, There. So, um, so it looks very watery, but it says it thickens as it stands. I'm really curious to see. I'm having company over tonight, so I'm going to see if it thickens by tonight. So I'll let you guys know, but let's do a test, trial test. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh my gosh, you can't taste the coconut at all. It is really good. It is really, really good. So I'm hoping it thickens because right now it's very watery. So I'll let you guys know. And then tonight I'll write it a blog. Um, what I used, exactly how many ingredients I used so you guys can make it at home. It's really, really good. So I hope it thickens. Okay, guys, have a great day. Take care.